I worry that there's just too many variables going into it that you, you don't know. Even in two weeks when Adam's going to make his decision, there's not going to be enough answers to, to give, you know, to say, okay, it's safe. We're going to do it and it's going to work. Um, baseball, you know, it's outdoors. There's not as direct contact. Football is a lot further away when they can play. I just worry about the NBA trying to force it and looking at the financials and say, we got to do this for the financial. I'd much rather them sit down with the union and say, look, we may have to scrap this. Let's figure out a way that we can salvage the cap, set a number that's reasonable. Let's figure out how we can make sure that guys can make money, but owners aren't losing much money. And let's solve it. Let's get ready to set next season start. Maybe we push next season back to November because the problem is as you go in the next summer, when you get to that flu season, everybody gets their flu shots, but players are going to be sick and then they're going to get tested. So I just think that there are just too many unanswered questions for them to try to say, we're going to force this down because of the financial hit that we're going to take. A lot of these owners are businessmen and they look at it and they have business that they just write off debt and say, okay, it was a bad year. We're going to write it off. Let's move forward and correct it down the road to try to force this issue just because TV may want it. Um, I think it could be what you don't want to do is make a decision now to save this season and affect next season. <laughs> Because then you then you're affecting two full seasons, or and then then you have a bigger financial hit. So to me, I, I would lean to just saying, you know, we're going to cancel the season, let the players who need get surgery get surgery, maybe push the draft back to July, free agency back to August first, and let's get the offseason going. Because even if you try to come back for regular season games, what's the incentive for Golden State if they got what 17 games, 15 games left to play? They're out of it. So what's the incentive for Steph Curry to go out there and play in these 15 games, even though he is on the contract? God forbid he gets hurt in one of those games. Now he's out next season. Or Draymond Green. You know, these guys are going to say, wait a minute, I'm coming back to play. I know I'm on the contract, but we're not making the playoffs. I mean, so maybe you just start reading.